Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. This is one card I'm definitely going to be doing. Vidic, the Centurion. I think his SBC is really, really good value. Just the way Laurent Blanc was as well. He's got the medium high work rates, which are fantastic. He's 6'3". And yes, a combination of him and Blanc. Wow. Just wow. I loved using both of them. Now, Laurent Blanc's very, very good as well. I don't think he gets the praise that he deserves. But his chemistry style of... Oh, sorry, sorry. Should I say his play style of Anticipate Plus makes him a very elite centre-half. So, Laurent Blanc... It, like, this Vidic card is not levels above above Laurent Blanc. No, 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 no. If you look at the pricing point, they're very similar. And in fact, I will say Laurent Blanc deserves to be mentioned as well as Vidic because they're both insane. I mean, it wasn't like Vidic was carrying me at the back, like looking after me fully. Blanc, as you can see from this video, is also a very dominant centre-half I mean, but let's talk about Vidic because it's his review. So quick, so dominant. I love that. I love the fact that he can jockey really well. He's got the aerial. And then on top of that, one thing I love about him, he's got the slide plus. Now, I'm just trying to think about other icons I've used, other icon center halves that I've used with that. Maldini, for example, who's insane. And then I've also used Desai, who's got that trait of play style plus on the slide tackle and I think it's a really good thing to have but you know Vidic is so strong like even when he stand tackles you you fall down so it just shows you how dominating he is I think a dual combination of Blanc and Vidic and you're laughing you really are I mean Laurent Blanc is up there as one of the best center halves when it, when it comes to icons, yes, he's not as good as Desai and he's not as good as Rio. But when you look at his pricing point, I think for value for coins, I think Laurent Blanc might be the best. And then this Vidage card is also really, really good value for money. I really think you should do both cards. I'm not going to just recommend one of them. Now, if you had to choose, I'd probably go Vidage if I had to choose out of one and I didn't have that much fodder. So, yeah, take it how it is, man. They're both insane. Vidic is insane. I'd say the only bad thing about Vidic is his agility and balance isn't the best. I've always had that problem, okay? And I can say the same about Laurent Blanc. I really can. Their agility and balance isn't insane, but their pace, super quick. Defending, insane. Physically, Vidic is a monster. Slide tackle, stand tackle, just insane. Like, absolutely brutal it's up to you what uh, chemistry style you want to go for you want to go for hunter that's fine uh, you want to go for catalyst it's completely up to you but i'm going to give this card a 9.3 out of 10 i really think when you talk about center halves you talk about value this is an incredible partnership and an incredible center half